I think, you know, I've got a 500 page book on tolerance analysis. I've written a bunch of GD and T books and um, a lot of experience as you alluded to earlier. I think the reason most parts work, the reason most parts fit together is not because of our design and our tolerancing and our tolerance analysis. It's, it's, it's for two reasons. One, <clears throat> manufacturing inspection do a better job than they have to. For example, if GD&T is not used, they still use something like datum features and set up and set parts down and inspect them in a controlled fashion. Right. And two, they do a better job than they have. So thus they do a better job than they have to. The other thing is parts are flexible. There's no such thing as a rigid parts. Parts bend. Right. So, so between parts deflecting at assembly and manufacturing doing a better job, we have parts that work despite what very well may be inadequate GD&T.